Okay, uh, I'd like to remind you that there is uh, uh, the latest post here on the website is of course that uh, you know the post is reading. Uh, there's a handout that you should you should go over, and of course there's um, uh, another quiz which is now available. Now, my original um, uh, originally I said a week ago that I will post another application, but I just realized that we have yet another quiz to uh, to uh, submit. So I posted the quiz, but. Um, uh, soon uh, this week I will be posting the next project so uh, here I will just uh, jump back to the um, course outline and um, show you that we have a number of presentations here uh, associated with uh, graphical user interface uh, for example today this is the presentation that we're going to use and those two presentations are essentially referred to chapter 15 of the textbook material and there's also chapter 16 which extends to other uh, other aspects of uh, graphical user interface programming and so we're, we have a number of other presentations here which we will uh, some of them basically are lab like uh, exercises that we will uh, that we will complete in class so there's more to come and there's maybe one or two more uh, or three more um, uh, uh, homework projects to, uh, to, 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 to complete uh, in terms of the homework assignments. So, but without further ado, re let's jump to this um, uh, um, presentation which is covering uh, swing forms. Now, uh, this new subject that we will be talking for a while is uh, Java Swing Library. Uh, generally speaking, any kind of uh, you know graphical user in, uh, graphical user interface is typically or most successfully is not programmed from scratch or not even programmed for a specific operating system or platform, okay, or hardware. Uh, what we, you would normally want is to um, uh, choose, uh, configure, install if you have to a graphical user interface library which you can use hopefully across multiple platforms so that you can run the same code on Windows and, and Unix and Linux and Mac uh, machines so that uh, 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 you are successful in terms of your coding becomes portable and not uh, platform specific or platform dependent. So Java Swing is an example of the library which uh, pr uh, gives you that exact promise. Basically, any platform that supports Java and promises that it has graphical user interface display will support Java Swing library, sim simply a, a family of uh, classes and interfaces that you can use to build your graphical user interface. And uh, the power of this library is that it's entirely implemented in Java. Essentially, what it takes to get access to uh, Java Swing, or in other words, uh, Java graphical user interface facilities, is simply install Java. You don't have to search elsewhere and download additional packages, or you don't have to go and flip certain switches in your system configuration to make it available. It's all available instantly because this is part of the Java platform and part of the standard edition of your Java installation. No other, uh, no other requirements or, <coughs> or you know, uh, rules uh, to, to worry about. And of, of course, because Java is portable, uh, the same application will, will run uh, if downloaded from a website in the form of Java applet or if you just uh, 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 compile your code and, and make it uh, available to other platforms. So it will execute just fine in your Linux, on your Linux box or on your uh, Windows box or Mac and, and so forth. So um, uh, slowly but surely we're going to be covering the, in, the inner components and uh, the most important uh, parts of a Java Swing uh, library, and that's going to be our progression. By the way, any questions so far? Anything? So just, if you have a question, just just raise your hand and we will, um, we will try to address those questions. All right, so just a bit of history and uh, uh, be before we begin to look at the actual code samples here, but um, 
uh, th there are actually uh, a, a number of uh, uh, sub packages in, inside Java library. Uh, some of them are referred to as abstract window toolkit, swing, and standard widget toolkit. These are the, uh, the different uh, uh, different different uh, uh, sets of classes which you can use uh, to build this. Uh, typically, you would want to use some kind of graphical user interface designer to help you out to position all widgets, to choose appropriate widget uh, widgets, access their properties because there could be multiple properties that you have to manage. Um, and typically, uh, that would be uh, the, the decision of, of, of pulling a specific class or widget out of these uh, um, packages will be done for you automatically. But uh, if you need to research something, that at least you need to know that there are different parts to that graphical user interface programming, and therefore, you know, you can uh, you can uh, be more successful in trying to find an answer to your question or whatever you you're trying to do. So. Um, uh, Java Foundation Classes is, is, is essentially the original name for uh, Java GUI Applications uh, uh, Library, and this stands for Java Foundation Classes. Um, uh, this uh, name is uh, a sort of derived from the, another uh, FC Foundation Class Library which is MFC. So MFC traditionally was one of the uh, Microsoft uh, 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 libraries. MFC, which was the library for, for C and C++ uh, programmers uh, on Windows platform, in a sense for Microsoft Foundation classes. And so uh, JFC and MFC for a long time coexisted at the same time, so that typically on Windows, um, in writing native code, uh, programmers would choose MFC, whereas uh, JFC was essentially the original name for, for, for Java graphics library. But uh, during development, uh, the swing, uh, the J JFC was actually internally a, re a project, was internally uh, referred to as a code name swing, and that name stuck and got, became, you know, uh, outlived the original kind of uh, internal project name, and so uh, this is uh, the two names basically refer to the same set of classes. Uh, it's it's fairly large, some thirty uh, uh, some uh, three hundred classes, uh, even more nowadays. And uh, of course, uh, it, it's uh, every class is really complex because it's very specific to a certain situation. So uh, just to give you examples of. Uh, some of the classes will be managing windows. Some of the classes will be managing uh, certain areas uh, on those windows. Uh, essentially serve as containers for other widgets. There will be widgets, specifically widgets that handle certain type of input. Uh, there will be uh, also uh, interfaces and classes that you want to use uh, to um, uh, handle a user input. Right, we already said that sometimes you have to uh, have a, 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 an application which tracks the position of the mouse. Right, it could be having like a scratch pad application, which basically the user can use the mouse to to do the scratch drawing on the screen, and so forth. Right, so there's uh, also a keyboard. There could be other other things that could participate uh, in 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 those inputs. So therefore. Uh, it's a rich set of classes, that, and it's virtually impossible in, in any course to cover all of them. You can only cover them to a certain extent. But like I said, we're going to focus on the specific categories of these controls, widgets, windows, uh, 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 panel containers, and other types of uh, 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 helper objects, so that you get an idea, and that obviously gives you a chance to uh, to uh, read more about uh, objects that are very similar, and therefore it should be a successful uh, uh, progression. So, but many of us are already quite familiar with uh, with a typical, you know, web interface or native desktop application interface with all of these gadgets. So, a lot of this is quite intuitive, and hopefully, should not be a big problem when we study the inner workings on on of certain things. 
So there, are, by the way, uh, uh, separate classes are are dedicated to the menus, right? So menus, uh, menus with sub menus with all kinds of uh, things that you can do with the menu system uh, is also available, and it's a special type of control which is uh, which is uh, which uh, uh, may or may not be present uh, on your window. All right. So. Um,